Hi, good evening. Hi, Edgar. Hi, Saul. Hi, Giovanni. Hi, Javier. Good evening. Hi. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you. Excellent. I'm fine. Thank you. Good evening. Hi, Saul. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you. All right. How was your day today? Everything okay at work? Um, um, it is it's a hard day. Okay. All right. Okay. So, do you teach at university or not? Yes, I am. You're a, a professor. Um, accountant and finance. Okay. All right. Very good. Interesting. Very nice. Hi, Elsie. Hi, Hi, Giovanni. How are you? Fine. And you, teacher? I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you. How is Italad doing? How's the town? Everything okay? Everything okay. Perfect. Very good. All right. Hi, teacher. Hi, Elsie. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. And you, teacher? I'm okay, Elsie. I'm fine, actually. I'm fine. Yes, I'm happy. It's Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> One more day and we finish another week. Yes. Yeah, very nice. And I, we also have Fabiola. Hi, Fabi. Hi, Fabi. How are you? Your microphone is off, Fabiola. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm fine. laughs> very good. All right, very nice. Good. Good to have you guys in class. Very good. So guys, welcome to uh, the 14th class of this course. Tomorrow is going to be, uh, we're going to be finishing our third class. All right. I mean, that third week. So that 15th class, and then we have one more week and we finish. Okay. Uh, the uh, basic three level. All right. So that's very, very good. That's very, very fast. Okay. Just reminding you igual. Todos los sábados para ver lo de las tareas, ok, so hoy tendríamos que realizar después de clase la tarea 14 y mañana la 15 en esta sección, después de la sección 3 no hay midterm, verdad, sino que sería hasta la otra semana y solo avisarles desde ya la otra semana para cuando terminemos viernes tiene que estar terminado el final exam, son como las nuevas cosas que vamos, eh, se van pidiendo dentro del programa, El año pasado todavía no era así, pero este año también sí se nos requiere pedirles de favor que a final, para cuando recibamos la última clase, o sea, el otro viernes, día 19, me parece que es verdad, sí, ¿verdad? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, sí. Viernes 19, usted no solo haya completado sus tareas de la semana, sino que también su final exam para que usted ya quede libre, porque la idea es continuar, eh, si mal no estoy informada, el siguiente lunes. ¿Verdad? Entonces, acuérdese que para eso es no solo los papeles que se le requieren para volver a inscribirse en el otro curso, sino que también tener terminado toda su plataforma, ¿verdad? Para que no nos atrasemos y se compense de alguna otra forma el break que se tuvo de Navidad a la fecha cuando reiniciamos este, ¿verdad? Entonces, la idea es como ir back to back, es como terminamos uno, empezamos otro. All right, so that's the idea. Por eso es... Sure. es... Dígame, Francisco Javier. A ver, este, está diciendo que estos módulos o el siguiente van a ser continuos completamente. Ajá, en teoría eso es lo que se espera, Javier, ¿verdad? Pero eso depende mucho de si la, los papeles para inscribirlos es, llegan a tiempo a la academia en el caso y si su plataforma o la plataforma de todos los participantes está terminada para cuando terminemos. Deme un segundito. que I'm sorry, pero a esta hora pasan todos los camiones que llevan la caña de azúcar. <risa> I'm very sorry. So, Francisco, esa, no sé si le contesté su pregunta, Fran. Eh, eh, depende de dos cosas, sí, sí. del papeleo y que la plataforma esté terminada por todos los participantes. Sí, sí, en, 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 en el sentido estricto de que pues, se ha tardado unas tres semanas normalmente en iniciar el siguiente módulo y digo, o sea, ¿va a ser más rápido ahora? Genial. En teoría eso se espera. De hecho, cuando ya, lo que pasa es que a final de año, Francisco, también es como difícil. Buenas noches, 
Eh, Mariela, ok, Mariela, pero se, eh, gracias por acompañarnos igual. Eh, lo que pasa es que en final de año es como más difícil eh, reiniciar por muchas cosas, ¿verdad? Una, porque es cierre de año, eh, tanto para la academia como para Insaport, para como todas las empresas de ustedes. E iniciar también es difícil para todos porque están en tanta cuestión de inicio de año que se vuelve como difícil empezar, por decir algo, la primera semana de enero, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, por esa razón, eh, los inicios de año son un poco más lentos. Luego ya cuando estamos en medio del año, eh, de repente se vuelve más continuo y a veces solo se descansa, desde que no se descansa, eh, y a veces se descansa una semana máximo, ¿verdad? Entonces la idea ahorita, Francisco, es que si se termina 19 y se reinicia el siguiente, el siguiente lunes, entonces solo tendrían el weekend off. ¿verdad? Pero igual esa información se la va a dar, se lo van a estar brindando vía correo los compañeros de la academia y nomás yo tenga pues más información, igual yo se los hago saber para ver cómo vamos con, con las inscripciones y si sí, uh, sí o no, estamos como para empezar right the following Monday, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a quedar pendiente con eso, pero esa es la idea, Francisco. ¿Se seguiría con este grupo? Eh, no sé. <ríe> No sé todavía, Francisco, de hecho nos asignan como, como casi que a finales o a principios, antes de, obviamente antes de iniciar el siguiente, pero eh, maybe, probably. <laughs> All right. Okay, we'll... Good evening, teacher. Hi, Edgar, how are you? Fine, fine, thanks. Excellent, very good. Nice to see you and nice to have you in class. All right, guys, so I'm going to take the first attendance of the evening. And then we're going to review about the emails that we were talking about yesterday, okay? So, déjeme pasar asistencia ahorita. All right, we have Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Soy la Noemí uh, Córdoba de Valencia. All right, hold on, guys. Just give me a second. All right, then we have um, Jamilet Osorio Alfaro. Candelaria El Tránsito Martínez Cisneros, Edgar Alfredo Mejíbar Pineda. Ahí está Edgar. Hola Edgar. <laughs> All right, Carla Marta Cano Rivas. Pre Thank you, Edgar. Present right. teacher, sorry. That's okay. Mayra Jasmine Rodríguez um, García, Marvel Omar. Ramírez Vázquez, Fabiola Georgina Silva, Fabi, Fabi, thank you, all right, thank you, Juan Francisco Enríquez González, present teacher, thank you, Elsie Janet de María Ramírez Navarro, present teacher, Marcos Giovanni Morán Flores, Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel, Jennifer Magali Morales Guzmán, Carlos Jonathan García Alvarado, Jorge Antonio Hernández Cruz, Francisco Javier Aviatoro Canales, Present. Mariela Los Ángeles Alvarado Díaz, Present. Thank you, and José Saúl González Roque. Present teacher. All right, very good, guys. So yesterday uh, we were talking about emails, okay? And we were talking about the difference between formal emails and we have friendly emails, to say it that way, all right? Uh, so we have that. Let's see, Elsie, when I uh, remember that we talked about parts of an email, all right? Tell me one, only one part of an email, Elsita. What, which one do you remember? Uh, two. Two, very good. All right, very nice. Uh, Fabiola, another part of an email that you remember? You don't remember, Fabi? Oh, no, very good. Giovanni, tenemos visitantes por ahí ahora. Very good. A ver, Giovanni. Hola. Hola, teacher. Yeah. All right, Giovanni, can you tell us one other part of an email? Belsita nos dijo two, all right? Another part for the email, what is it? Uh, the subject. The subject, very good, all right? So remember that we have to and from, then we have the subject, all right? Francisco, uh, Juan Francisco, another part of the email that you remember? Juan 
Francisco? No, no. No remember. Ah, no. Oh, no. All right. Let's see. Francisco Javier. That's okay, Juan Francisco. Don't worry about it. Francisco Javier, another part of the email that you remember that we said that we studied yesterday. Body, uh, sign on. Sign on. Like at the end, the uh, signature? Signature. signature. Yes, very Sign good. We also have the salutations. Acuerdan de las salutations. The salutations is when you say hi, hello, dear Mr. Villatoro, yes. dear Miss Silva. All right, so that's a salutation. Um, Edgar, el párrafo de en medio, ¿cómo le llamamos? O lo que, de lo que se va a tratar su email. Le llamamos de alguna forma. ¿Se recuerda, Edgar? Uh, Oh, se ha olvidado la... Sorry, oh, teacher. No, what Don't happened? Remember. All right, that's okay. Uh, Saul, do you remember the part, the main part of the uh, email? Yes, body. Super, Saulito, very good. All right, so yeah, is the body, uh, the message, is the body uh, paragraph okay. of your email, all right? Very good. Ahora, let's see, Edgar, hoy sí me la tiene que contestar, Edgar. How do you say? No ve sus notas. Mírenme a mí. Aquí, aquí, aquí. <laughs> Edgar, a ver. Arroba, ¿cómo se dice? At. Excellent. Very good. A ver. Tell me, Edgar, tell me your email address. Si no quiere dar la suya, invéntese una. A ver. <laughs> ok. Um, Edgar.mengibar uh, arroba gmail.com oh, no, uh, uh, Sorry, uh, uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Edgar, Edgar, uh, Edgar, oh, el, uh, Edgar, Edgar? Eh, Edgar dot Menjibar uh, at uh, gmail dot com. Com, dot com. Very good, com, excellent, com. Okay. Edgar. Very nice. Yes. All right. Super. All right. Cuando usted tiene guión bajo en su correo is underscore. All right, for example, you can say Jessica mm. underscore cerritos at gmail.com. All right, ahí va a depender. Underscore, all right. Si es eh, hyphen, es como un guión normal, hyphen, pero generalmente es underscore or uh, dot. All right, so those are the emails that we use. A ver. Um, ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se escribe? Uh, underscore. Underscore, es? under, de under, de abajo. Ah, and then score, like, you know, score. Yeah. yeah, underscore. Mm -hmm. Score. Okay. Yeah, very good. Okay, so let's see, what else? Um, give me, Ma Mariela, can you participate right now or not right now, Mariela? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So, Mariela, give me one example, Mariela, of a salutation for a formal email. Um. Dear teacher. Yeah, dear Jessica, dear teacher, dear Alfredo, dear Giovanni, dear Miss uh, Ramirez Navarro. All right, dear. All right, very good. Let's see. Um, Francisco Javier, give me an example of a signature or closing. Regard of you and my name and if it is possible, my number. All right, very good. So you say greetings or you say you're truly yours or yours truly and then your name, right? Francisco Javier. And if it's possible, you write either your email again or your contact information, like your number. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. Very nice. Now, El Cita. A ver. Si usted va a abreviar, que a veces es possible, dependiendo, ayer decíamos que va a depender mucho de el tipo de email y a quién se lo dirige. Eh, si yo le pongo, Elsie, I need to know about the report of the client ASAP. What does that mean, Elsie? Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to chance to give us a note. Uh -huh. ASAP means what, guys? As soon as possible. Excellent, Elsie, yes, as soon as possible. Very good. Juan Francisco, a ver, ya agarramos feeling, Juan Francisco. Si yo le pongo Juan Francisco, I am going to be late for class. Y a le pongo um, FYI. 
¿Qué quiero decir with FYI? A your microphone, Juan Francisco. Uh, uh, ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo dice? <laughs> Ed McGuire, this is como. <laughs> yes, FYI. Uh -huh. F -Y -I. Uh, no, not remember. <laughs> no, you don't, permítame que tenemos un ejemplo que me está escribiendo. Quiero. A ver, ¿quién se acuerda? Uh, for your information. For your information. Uh, yes, for yeah. your information. F for for you. I mean, your with Y and I of information for your information. Very good. Okay. If I tell you something like, um, um, are, have you finished, Giovanni, have you finished your platform exercises? RSVP. What does that mean? I don't remember, teacher. All right, anybody that remembers that abbreviation? Answer please by email. answer. Yes, please answer by email, right? Pretty much like by message. Very good, excellent. Okay, let's see another abbreviation. Oh, okay. Hi, Noemi. If I say, for example, okay, uh, Mariela, um, the report was great. Please send it to our CEO. What does that mean? Mariela, do you remember what CEO means? Chief Executive Officer. Excellent, very good, Mariela studied, very good. Excellent, Mariela, very nice, okay. Oh, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. What else do we have, guys? Um, on the email, algo más que se nos vaya quedando? De los pasos, or ASPA. ASAP? ASAP. AP, yes, yes. Yeah, as soon as possible. Yeah, I, I said it to uh, Elcita, right? Very good. Yes, as soon as possible. All right. Um, what else? PR. Which one? PR. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Very good. Uh, that would be for the, um, how do you call it? Oh, my goodness. I forgot that one. <laughs> For the, uh, what is it, Mariela? Help me. Public here. relations. The public relations, yes, thank you. And also we have like human resources, like the other one that could be abbreviated. All right, very good, guys. So here yesterday, I'm just going to share this with you here because this is what, oops, what we, give me one second. I don't have it open already. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> All right, yeah, this is the one that we saw yesterday, just to remind you guys about this here, but we saw it. Yeah, we saw this. All right, we just saw this, like the steps that you need to remember that we have to, from, subject, uh, a veces le ponemos fecha, the date, uh, carbon copy, CC, for like if you want to copy someone. And then you have the uh, salutation, all right? And then you have the rest of your message, all right? And then at the end, you have the um, closing, all right? Best wishes, whatever, all right? That's what we saw yesterday. Nos quedamos en el formal email. Yo sé que en el caso de Francisco Javier con Carla lo terminaron, all right? But some of us didn't, all right? So we're going to try to do it today. And we had here. Remember that you had these possibilities, all right? You have to contact Taylor Dennis. You're in New York City. This is the one that Francisco Javier and Carlita did yesterday. You're setting up a lecture, and number four, you're analyzing a very important uh, proposal, all right? I don't know if you guys finished it. ¿Lograron terminarlo o no? Really? ¿Se acuerdan que yo les dije, bueno, traten de terminarlo después? Tal vez lo logran. 
Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Excellent. Wow. Yes. Very good. Okay, escuchemos. Juan Francisco, tell us your email, please. Okay. Uh, dear colleagues, Martin, I hope all is well with you. I'm great. Greeting to ask for you the, pre, the price table of the products because I need it to set some price to analy analyze a very important proposal. I appreciate your assistance and look forward to hearing back from you. Sincerely, Juan Enriquez. Excellent. Very good. Very, very nice. Juan Francisco. Very nice email. Thank you. All right. Very nice. Let's see. Um, Elsie, did you finish your email? Uh, no, me falta un poco. All right, Elsie, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> All right, that's okay. Edgar, Alfredo, did you finish your email, Edgar? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, from uh, at uh, English English Corporativo uh, that uh, that come to uh, Taylor that Dennis uh, at Yahoo uh, that uh, come subject a read of the CEO. Uh, arrival, arrival of the CEO. Arrival. Uh -huh. uh, arrival. Arrival of the CEO. Of C, 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 C uh, dear Mr. Taylor, I'm writing to inquire about the arrival of the CEO of the company in Rio de Janeiro to give the taxi service from the airport to the company. Thank you. Magali Morales, Human Resource. Perfect, very good, nice, thank you. Very, very well done. Let's see, Giovanni, were you able to finish your um, email? Creo que sí, teacher. Uh -huh. let's, let's hear it. Tengo problemas con la computadora. Pero oh, okay. Voy a tratar. Eh, Taylor Dennis at gmail.com. Okay. Subject arrival of CEO. Dear Mr. Taylor, uh, this email is to confirm the arrival date of the CEO of the company in Rio de Janeiro to our headquarters office. Best regards, Giovanni Valdivieso. Okay, very good. All right, nice, very good. Uh, one more email, I don't know, Saul, if you have yours, or Mariela, or Fabi, uh, or Noemi, that you can share with us. Me, teacher. Okay. Um, to Tyler, um, that Dennis at gmail dot com. Okay. From Mariela, uh, that Saul and Elsie at gmail dot com. Okay. Subject arrival, arrival, arrival. of the CEO. Okay. Dear Mr. Taylor, I hope everything is going well. I'm writing to ask you on which flight the CEO of the company arrive and at what time. Okay. Thank you for your prompt response. Best regards, Mariela, Saul, and Elsie. Very good. Nice, nice email. Thank you, Mariela. Very good. Okay. Um, someone else that wants to share your email, that wants to share their email, alguien que lo quiera compartir. So we move on here, guys. All right, very good. Okay, so the rest of your emails are very well done. Okay, so it's good that you have the experience to write 
and an email in English, all right? So now here, let's go back to the manual that we're gonna uh, keep on working on it right now. Let me just get it here. Hold on, guys. Sorry, this is what we saw yesterday. Um, can you hear me? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, very good. So yesterday, this is what we saw that we began um, studying and then we're gonna continue with this today. Communication at the workplace, steps to write a formal email. Igual ayer ya lo hicimos, pero ahora vamos a ver qué nos dice el manual acá. Read the tips to write a formal email and classify the emails below as formal or informal. All right, number two, for the informal emails, discuss what tips will be useful to make them more formal, okay? So here we have uh, number one, Juan Fra uh, Francisco Javier, can you read uh, the sentence number one, please? Yeah. Uh, Francisco, I think your microphone is off. We can't hear you. El cursor está al inicio, no, no, no sé qué le traes. I'm Pelan. sorry, sorry. Fill in the subject line with a topic relevant uh, to your recipient and not just that document or important. All right, fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient. All right, recipient is the one that's gonna receive it. I know just document or important, okay? So in other words, no solo le pongo importante o urgente o documento, pongan un poco más de información. Very good, LC number two. Thank you, Juan, uh, Francisco Javier. LC Tech, can you do number two? No, all right, Edgar, can you do number two for us, please? Incloye yeah, a, yeah. pol oh, in a polit salutation, e.g. dear mister, dear miss, good morning, uh, etc. Etc. right, very good, says, yes, et cetera. Et cetera. very good, yes. Include, excuse okay. me, include a polite salutation, all right? Include a, a, include a polite include salutation. A pol Example there, and then you say the rest. Very good, thank you. Number three, let me see. Giovanni, can you read number three, please? Okay. Write your main point in the opening sentence. Very good, nice, all right. Fabi, can you read number four? The use of capital or a lower case letters. Very good, yes, don't use all capital letters. I mean, don't use all capitals or lower um, case letters. Si capital letters son mayúsculas, lowercase son minúsculas, all right? Lowercase letters, okay? Mariela, can you read number five? Avoid aberration, A, G, P, L, Z, please. All right, very good. Avo avoid abbreviations. Example, uh, PLZ or PLZ, please, right? So we can avoid it, especially if you're writing a super formal email. Juan Francisco, number six. Um, be polite. Remember to write, please, and thank you. Excellent. Very nice. Thank you. All right, let me see. Uh, Noemi, can you, I don't know, Noemi, can you read right now or not? Yes. Okay, very good. Um, number seven, Noe. Be brave if your message is too long, consider, consider using an attachment. Very good, thank you. All right, be brief. If your message is too long, consider using an attachment. And what is like attachment is an adjunto. All right, very nice. Uh, Saul, can you read number eight, please? 
number eight, use a closing phrase like best reader, readers, uh, looking forward to your comments, etc. Et et very good, nice, very good. And the last one, um, Elsie, can you read, I mean, number nine? Can you read number nine, Elsie? Have a signature block with appropriate contact information, your name, business address, and phone number. Perfect, very good. And the last one, who hasn't read yet? Fabiola, can you read the list? Fabi, can you read number 10? Edit, um, what is the pronunciation of Process. Proofread, yes, proofread. Before you send the message. Very good. Edit and proofread, all right? Entonces, revíselo. Edítelo y revíselo. Proofread es revisarlo, all right? Solo lee y lo vuelve a leer para ver si no hay ningún error. Before you send the message, all right? Ahora, tenemos aquí two examples of this here, uh, of this email. The first one, a ver, léalo usted solito o solita y, y decida si este email es formal o informal, number one, y lo mismo por number two. Read it over and check if it's formal or informal y me avisa cuando termine. Aquí me quedo y usted igual ahí en su casita, léalo y decida si es formal o informal email. All right, finished. All right, let's see. Giovanni, can you read number one for us and then tell us if it's formal or informal? Okay, the first one. Mm-hmm. To Peter at mail.com. Mm -hmm. Subject, subject Saturday. Mm -hmm. Remember, we have to prepare everything for the event. Event or event? Event. Event. Please don't forget the thing. See you. Okay. Uh, yes. 
pienso que es informar porque en la abreviatura, como que es entre dos compañeros de trabajo, quizás. All right, yeah. All right, see you, right? Ni dice ni quién lo manda ni nada, right? Aparte el tipo de... The message on the body paragraph is kind of like, okay, very informal. Thank you. Okay. All right, very good. Hi, Carla. All right, let's see. Next one. Hi, uh, hi how are you? All right. Juan Francisco, no, can you no, read? No. Excuse me? I'm, I'm like. Okay, that's okay. All right, Juan Francisco, can you read the second email and tell us if it's formal or informal? Um, it is formal. Can you read it? Uh, to Robert at mail.com. Subject tomorrow's meeting. Okay. Robert, remember that tomorrow we are happy having a meeting with IT. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the documents. All right. Okay. So for you, um, Juan Francisco, it is formal. In, for me, it is formal. Okay. Very good. Now, if we look at these two emails, ¿qué le podríamos mejorar a esos dos? Hay mucho que le podríamos mejorar. Piense, piense en lo que le podemos mejorar. De hecho, le faltan cosas que no las tiene. All right, how can we improve it? Con ese pensamiento nos vamos a ir a los grupos. Revíselo ahí. Hay partes que no están. Hay partes que le podemos agregar o le podemos mejorar. Revise spelling, revise a todo lo que va ahí para hacerlo eh, más... Eh, Nice, para tener un better email, ok? Vamos a hacer la primera práctica ahorita. All right, piense, arreglen esos dos emails que están ahí. No sé, ¿necesitan tomarle foto o lo tienen? Do you guys have it or you need to take a picture? Yo lo tengo impreso, dicho. You don't have it, Giovanni? Sí, lo tengo impreso. All right, everybody has it. Edgar, do you have it? Lo pongo, no, ¿eh? No, 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 teacher. Yes, teacher. Ahorita. No, no, no. no, mi esposa me estaba regañando, teacher. No era usted. No era usted. No era esa mirada. All right. Thank you. Ok. Ok, vámonos a los grupos y revisémoslo, agregámosle lo que le tengamos que agregar o le quitamos lo que tenemos que quitar. All right, check it. No, you cannot go to your group right now, right? Excuse me, no? Me dijo, ¿quién? Puede, puede unirse ahorita a un grupo, ahorita no puede, ¿no? Ahorita no puede. Vaya, no, 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 tranquila, no, tranquila, tranquila. Ok, gracias.
All right, let's see. So, um, Elsie, for number one, all right. Let's go, Chelsea. Yes. All right, for number one, that we said that is an informal email. ¿Qué le puso? ¿Le puso algo de más? ¿Le quitó algo? What did you, how did you improve that email, Elsie? Uh, siempre lo dejamos como informal, pero lo completamos, o sea, lo leo. Yes, please. Okay. To Peter at mail.com mm -hmm. from Luis arroba, uh, perdón, at mail.com. Okay. Subject event. Event. All right. Event. Uh -huh. Hi, Peter. Remember, uh -huh. we have to prepare everything for the event. Event. Please. Event. Mm -hmm. Please don't forget the things. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Luis. Okay. All right. So here you added to and from. El tuyo estaba, pero le agregaron el from. You added another subject. You wrote event. All right. Maybe you can say event on Saturday or Saturday's event. Para hacerlo aún más completo, ¿verdad? Porque event es como también solo a single word. Event, right? but when, en el caso que ya lo completamos, que el evento va a ser sábado y es un evento, podemos decir Saturday's event, all right, para que suene mejor aún. 
Uh, you also add, Elsie, you added a salutation, ¿verdad? You added a salutation on your email. And you said, hi, hi, Peter? Peter. Yes, hi, Peter. All right, very good. Did you add a closing, um, Elsie? Mm, I don't understand. Did you add a closing? ¿Le agregaron una, una despedida? Ah, uh, sí. Uh, see you tomorrow. Thank you, Luis. All right. Thank you, and then Luis. Eh, gracias o sea, a Luis. ¿Y para quién es el mensaje? ¿Para Luis o para Peter? No, para, para Peter. No, thank you. Quien se despide es Luis. Ok, ok. Entonces pone thank you y luego abajo pone Luis. Eh, sí, Rodríguez. que se despide Luis. Ajá. All right, yeah, I get it. I get it. Very good. Excellent. Nice. ¿Alguien más that worked on the informal y le cambió un poco, le agregó otra cosa? For the informal one, o más o menos como él si lo dejó con el, uh, ¿con quién estaba trabajando el cita? Who were you working with? Uh, with Saul and Carlita. Okay, all right. Did you, uh, did you guys add anything else, the other groups, or no? Lo dejaron más o menos como ellos. Oui. Um... Uh -huh. Tell me how did you do it? How did you change it? Ouch. Uh, me, teacher. Uh, yes, tell with me. With Edgar. Okay. Uh, the informal uh, from Daniel that Sanchez at gmail dot com. Okay. okay. Uh, to peter at gmail.com okay uh, subject mm -hmm. meeting on saturday okay okay meeting on saturday uh, remember okay. uh -huh. uh, remember that tomorrow we have a meeting with the management at 8 a.m prepare everything for the event, please don't forget the presentation. Thank you for your time, Daniel Sanchez. Okay, very good. All right, nice. All right, very good. So remember, la pronunciación, guys, nos cuesta esa es event. All right, event. Esa la venimos viendo desde el módulo 2. <laughs> All right, that's okay. A ver. Eh, no eh, uh, sí. <laughs> All right, very good. Eh, el segundo, number two, lo dejaron siempre formal y si sí, ¿qué le agregaron o qué le quitaron? Examples. Siempre lo dejamos formal. Ok. ¿Le agregaron algo? ¿Le uh, quitaron algo? ¿Revisaron algo? Uh, yes. Uh, it's to Robert at gmail.com from uh -huh. Carlos that uh, gmail at gmail.com subject okay. tomorrow friday 12 meeting okay uh, there mr robert remember that tomorrow friday 12 of february at 8 a.m we are having we are we are having a meeting with the okay. it department don't forget the document i appreciate your assistance okay your assistance all right very good Okay, Finish. nice. All right. Now, hay algo ahí que me que, que it's bothering me. Encontraron a un spelling mistake en el segundo email. Lo encontraron y lo corrigieron. Yes. Mm -hmm. And don't. Excellent. Don't. Ahí se nos, nos hace falta el apóstol. Solo dice don't. Don't, solo dice don't. <laughs> Don't forget, all right? So don't forget. Entonces es importante eh, hacer el proofread, all right? Proof the read of your um, emails. ¿Alguien más que haya cambiado o modificado el, ese segundo email that can share it with us, guys? No? All right, okay. So this is um, what I wanted to show you this, que a veces nos puede servir, de repente uh, lo podemos encontrar en el camino y usted puede decir, ¿y esto para qué es? 
All right. Cuando hablamos de proofread, when you proofread something, usted puede proofread cualquier documento. En este caso estamos hablando de un email. All right. You can use it. Porque ocupan mucho las abbreviations. Si estuviéramos en una clase presencial, eh, la tarea fuera que me entregaran un email escrito o que me lo mandaran por correo y, y yo hiciera esto, les escribiera, eh, si hubiese algún error, les escribiera esto de acá y les va a quedar para que ustedes entiendan what it is. All right. Eh, casi que son las mismas. Es universal kind of thing. Cuando hablamos en inglés, usamos mucho estas. All right. Y se llaman proofread um, marks, proofreading marks, ¿ok? Cuando usted entrega un examen, un examen, un ensayo o un documento, o en este caso un email, y yo se lo regresara, le pudiera poner estas marcas que están aquí, ¿all right? ¿Qué quieren decir? Si son tres líneas, yo le dije, eso quiere decir capitalized, ¿all right? Póngale mayúsculas. They finished in Lake Tahoe. So here you have Lake. Y como es nombre propio, you have to have it capitalized, all right? Si le pusiera una línea así, it was like a, a tilted line, is make it lowercase, all right? A usted se le fue poner five students miss the bus. Students no llevaría capital letter, ni bus tampoco, all right? En el caso que yo le pusiera una marca, usted supiera qué quiere decir. If I write SP, means a spelling mistake, all right? The day was cloudy and cold. Okay, so here you have a spelling mistake on this word. All right. If you have this sign, quiere decir agregue un punto. All right, tomorrow is a holiday, period. Los puntos ortográficos no se llaman dot, se llaman period. Okay. Y los puntos en matemáticas se llaman point. No se llaman period ni se llaman dot. Dot, nada más, es el mismo punto, pero para emails, all right, period, para ortografía, para puntos finales, puntos seguidos, y eh, usted dice 5.6, 5.7, o 5.6, o whatever. Si yo le pusiera esta marquita, quiere decir delete, all right, Kim knew that the answer, ese, ese no va, eh, bórrelo, ¿verdad? Quítelo de ahí. Si ponemos esta acá, if I, I, if I show you this one, is add a word. Six were in the litter. Six what? Pops were in the litter, in la camada, all right? If I write this triangle plus a coma means add a coma. He ate peas, coma, corn, coma, and squash. En inglés, ponemos coma antes del I, cosa que we don't do in Spanish, I guess. Uh, here, this wiggly line is reverse words or letters, all right? An order swam in the bed, kel, uh, kel is the other way, all right? Igual en esta, add an apostrophe, the child's bike was red. Uh, these um, quotation marks is when you have to add quotation marks. Why can I go? She cried, okay? So you need quotation marks here. If you, if I added a number sign, means add a space, all right, or make a space. Here you get, you missed the space here. This one right here, guys, is close the space. No necesita esta vacunida. Si ve este signo de aquí o esta marca, quiere decir empiece un nuevo párrafo, all right? So, estas son como bien universales cuando hablamos de eh, corregir algún documento o un ensayo o un um, correo en este caso, si usted me lo entregara en físico, all right, y yo lo leo y de repente encuentro algún error, yo podría ocupar cualquiera de estas marcas que usted ya sabe qué quieren decir. All right, so that's like very, very important for you to know. Okay? <clears throat> Any questions about that, guys? No questions? No? Okay. All right. Vamos a tomar la segunda asistencia de la noche, and then we can continue. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Soy la Noemí Córdoba de Valencia. Present teacher. Cecilia Yamileto Soria Alfaro. Candelaria eh, del Tránsito Martínez Cisneros. Edgar Alfredo Mengíbar Pineda. Present teacher. Eh, Carla Marta Cano Rivas. Thank you. Carlita, ahí está. 
Uh, Mayra Yasmin Rodríguez García, Marvel Omar Ramírez Vázquez, Fabiola Georgina Silva, Present. Juan Francisco Enríquez González, Present, teacher. Elsie Janet de María uh, Ramírez Navarro, Present, teacher. Marcos Giovanni Morán Flores, Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel, Jennifer Magali Morales Guzmán, Carlos Jonathan García Alvarado, Jorge Antonio Hernández Cruz, Francisco Javier Villatoro Canales, Present. Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado Díaz, Present. Juan José Saúl González Roque. Excellent teacher. Excellent, so thank you. All right, guys, let's continue here. Vamos a hacer esta eh, práctica y vamos, con esto vamos a cerrar esto de los emails y vamos a tocar al tema eh, de etiquette. All right, so esto vamos a hacer ahorita. Tenemos esto acá. All right, que les acabo de enseñar. A ver. Okay, here. Este es un ejercicio que vamos a hacer en sus grupos. Eh, cuando usted entra a su grupo, decida si usted va a ser student A o student B. All right? Eh, ¿Y qué vamos a hacer? Eh, acá tenemos las, los temas, digamos. Acá, ups, perdón. Aquí tenemos y dice open ingredients. ¿Ok? O si gusta, igual lo pueden hacer juntos. No necesariamente uno A o B. Háganlo juntos y vean las opciones. Open ingredients. ¿Ok? Piense con su compañero o compañera. ¿Cuál sería la, eh, un open ingredient o unas open ingredients que sean acertadas? All right, tenemos Dear Madams, Dear Mr. Alex, Dear John, Hi, to everyone, to all faculty members. ¿Cuál de esas cinco sería la más adecuada para un open ingredient? Tómele foto a esto, por favor. Son como cinco fotos, creo. So that's picture number one. Okay. Then we have this one, yeah. opening line. Una cosa es opening greetings, cuando usted dice hi, y otra cosa es opening line cuando empieza eh, su párrafo, all right? Y revise las opciones de las 6 a la 12, cuál sería la más adecuada. Esta es la segunda foto. Puede haber una o pueden haber más de una, no hay problema. Vamos a verlas después, all right? So this is picture number two. Picture number three, main body of the email, including information or documents. Aquí solo hay dos opciones. ¿Cuál sería la más acertada? Next one. La otra foto acá. Making arrangements de la 15 a la 18. Igual, request cuando usted solicita algo y complaints cuando usted está eh, quejándose de algo. All right? Is that okay to say that? O usted le cambiaría algo. Y la última, me parece, sí. La última es closing line y closing greetings. All right? ¿Cuál sería mejor? Acuérdense que estamos hablando de formal emails. No estamos hablando de informal emails. Okay? Yes, this is the last picture. So, I want you to go. Vaya leyendo una por una. Por ejemplo, voy a regresar a la primera. Eh, Leanlo con su compañero Opening Greetings. ¿Cuál es la mejor? Dear Madams, Dear Mr. Alex, Dear la, 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 y luego deciden cuál es. Hacen la segunda, Opening Line, revisen o vayan leyendo las options, and then you decide which one is the most correct one. Y así hasta llegar a la número 5. All right? Las cinco fotos ahí. Any questions? Do you have questions about that, guys? Teacher, la siguiente slide, después de la 12, please. Next. Esta sería, esa no? Okay. Esta, okay, next. Okay, next. Okay. Okay, y ahí se acabó. Yeah. All right, so now let's go. All right.
All right, guys, very good. So let's see here now. I'm gonna share it with you. All right, so here we have these ones as opening greetings. Which ones did you guys choose? Whoops. This one, which one did you guys choose for opening greetings? Anybody? Number two. Dear Mr. Alex? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right, what about the rest of you guys? Escogieron los demás grupos. Number two. Okay, dear Mr. Alex. Number two. Number two. Okay, everybody number two? Yes. All right. Okay. Yeah, dear Mr. Alex. Very good. Number two. Right, nice. Thank you. What about opening line, guys? You have, I write to you about your latest model. Thanks for your quick reply. Sorry for my late replying. I hope you're well. How's it going? It was a pleasure to meet you last week. This is just a quick note to say. Which one is your opening line? Number 11 and number 12. Okay, it, all right. Number 11. It was a pleasure to meet you It was you a last pleasure? Week. All right, so for everyone, is number 11 better? Number yeah. 11. Yeah, sounds Number. better. Yeah, that sounds better. It was a pleasure to meet you last week and blah, 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 right? You open your paragraph like that. Very nice. Main body of the email, including information or documents. Which one? Please find the information attached or please see the below information. Which number? Number Please find the information attached. Yeah, number 13, please find the information attached. That sounds much better, all right? Yeah, number 13. Okay, then this one, making arrangements. Would you like to go out for dinner on Wednesday? If you are convenient, I love to come, but that would have been great, but at the time I'm meeting, which one? Number 15. Would you like to go out for dinner on Wednesday? What about the rest of you guys? Number 18. Number 18. Number 18. Yeah, I think that sounds a little bit better. That would have been great, but at the time I'm meeting. All right, so you're arranging something here. Yeah, sounds that one sounds a lot better. What about request? Is it pause? If possible, can you finish it by Friday? as possible as you can. Would you mind sending me? Number 21. Yeah. Would you mind sending me? Yeah, that sounds better. That's like a very polite request. Complaints, unfortunately, it was not what I expected. Or did you change it somehow? Aquí no había otra, me parece. All right. No, solo esa. Mm, but... esa, es la, esa es la única, pero es bastante Ajá. fuerte, me parece, ¿no? Yeah. Ajá. Exacto. ¿Cómo la podríamos como, like, try to change it a little bit? ¿Podríamos cambiarlo un poquito? Para que no se, haga, no se escuche tan pesado. Porque sí, como que, unfortunately, it was not what I expected. You're complaining. I mean... Si tomamos en cuenta que tiene que ser brief y concise, está directo, pero quizás muy directo. All right, so it's a little bit harsh. All right, so podríamos como suavizar un poquito ahí, igual dependiendo what happened. All right, number two. Para mí está bien. Para usted está bien, ya yeah, directa. Ya, yeah, Mariana. Sí. Good. Yeah, okay, sure. Number uh, for closing lines, we have, I'm looking forward to your reply. I look forward to hearing from you. If you need any further information, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thanks in advance. Tomorrow is fine. See you later. I hope you're acceptable. Thanks again. I hope uh, that helped. Which one is best for you guys? Corti conciso. I'm looking forward oh. to your reply. Okay. I'm looking forward to your reply. Yes. Podría ser 23. Otro? Mm. Mm. 
I hope you are acceptable. Okay. Sure. Or tomorrow is fine. See you later. Mm, but that one is uh, doesn't sound too formal for me. That's um, kind of like, yeah. Like if you're texting me or like a friend of yours, I think it's okay. But if you're sending a formal email, I think I would go with 23 and 25. All right, if you need any further information and you're like offering, you know, so it's a little bit longer than 23, but still it's, you're closing everything, okay? And closing greetings, best regard or best wishes? Which one is for formal emails, guys? Remember that we're talking about formal emails. Which one is better? Best regard. Best regard. All right. Very good. Okay. Very good, guys. Thank you for that. All right. So we stop. We will stop talking about emails and formal emails and stuff. So I hope you find it useful. Uh, if you need, like, I don't know. I think it's nice for you to know uh, the parts of the emails in English. All right. How to write an email, the closing, the salutations. All right. So that's very important for you. Uno nunca sabe si va a tener que escribir un correo en inglés soon, all right? So if it's very handy, all right? Especialmente si eh, nuestras headquarters están en otro país donde hablan inglés, posiblemente one day you're going to have to type an email in English. O puede, no sé, nunca se sabe, all right? So that's very nice. Okay, we're going to continue, guys, with this on your book on page. Sure. Yes? A ver, con la... Con la respuesta esta de que desafortunadamente no es lo que se esperaba. Sí. Digo, en otras culturas o con otra gente a nivel ya empresarial, digamos, o sea, ¿Sí? es, es importante ser tan directo o realmente se puede hacer un poquito más eh, complaciente, digamos. O, o Fíjense menos... que yo creo que en la, hablando de la cultura, eh, like United States and Canada, yo creo que estaría bien. O sea, es como bien directo. Unfortunately, this is not what I expected. All right, you're like very direct. Quizás para nosotros suena así como, uy, qué pesado, ¿verdad? Y tal vez le ponemos como más adornitos, así como para, para hacerla menos heavy, all right? Pero, pero creo que en, like, the States and in Canada, I think it would be okay, Francisco. All right, because you're, like, right to the point. Es lo que les decía y les comentaba yo ayer, ¿verdad? Nosotros tendemos a beat around the bush, le damos vuelta y vuelta y vuelta para llegar y decir, fíjese que no me gustó <laughs> lo que mandó, ¿verdad? O lo que recibí. But they go like, okay, ¿qué quiere tal cosa? All right, that's what I need. I need something. All right, so they really go direct to the point. All right, very good. Okay. Thank you. No, thank you. Very good. Okay, so let's continue here, guys. Uh, we're going to talk about, we are on page 35. I will be able to provide written and oral instructions on etiquette at the workplace all right estamos hablando de like etiquette like proper manners all right um is the word etiquette familiar to you ya habían escuchado ese término de etiquette or not anybody you know what etiquette means yes teacher yeah all right okay what does it mean Etiqueta. Ah, uh -huh. etiquette. All right, very good. Okay, so mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Are these rules important and why? Piensa en su trabajo, okay? Uh, what are two, two etiquettes or two rules of etiquette at your office? Any ideas? ¿Qué, qué, qué se les ocurre? Any ideas on the etiquette of your workplace? O se puede hacer de todo. Uh, no rules. <laughs> uh, in work, no. Oh, llegar a tiempo al trabajo. Yeah, okay. arrive on time. To arrive on time. Okay, very good. Another one? Vestir adecuadamente. Yeah, like dress properly. All right, very good. Hay lugares donde es como más relax that you can, but hay otros lugares that no, you have to work like very, very, like you have to dress very, very formal, all right? 
So that would depend on the type of job or the type of business or a company and their rules of etiquette. A ver, another one, arriving on time, the way you dress, uh -huh, another etiquette that you can have in your workplace. Sitios donde comparten equipo o dispositivos, mm -hmm. se, se les pide que sean más organizados con ellos o que los tengan disponibles a tiempo. ¿no? Ok, very good, yeah, very nice, good. Another one, guys? What about the makeup? The lady? Makeup? Mm -hmm. Yeah, could be, all right. In some places they ask, Either the opposite of not too much makeup or they need to be like very like arreglada, right? Because of the type of um, job they have to do. All right, yeah, very good. Okay, another one. Any other etiquette that you can um, think of at your workplace? Um, it at the desktop. Excuse me, Giovanni? Done it in the right. very good, yeah. Like no food allowed, all right, or not like drink like during working hours or not drinking like you know, like I don't know, Coca-Cola or whatever, right? Depending on what you drink. Now, do you think these rules are important and why are they important? Carla? Carla, can you hear me? Yes, yeah, okay. All right, very good. Carla, in your restaurant. What you, I, I believe because you deal with food, all right, you have a lot of etiquettes at your workplace. Can you mention one or two that you have to follow at the restaurant? Maybe I can say we wear a complete uniform. Wear what, Carlita? Wear a Uniform. A uniform, yes. Okay. Um, what is the English word for buenos modales? Yeah, like good, um, like good manners. Good manners. Good manners. Um, okay. Now, um, Carlita would like wash your hands. Hoy todos nos tenemos que lavar las manos all the time, pero Carla es especial because they work in a restaurant. Would be wash your hands like one of the rules of etiquette at the workplace of your restaurant? Yeah. All yeah. The time. yeah, I think that's mandatory, huh? <laughs> Is that main or principal? Uh huh. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay, so here it says letter uh, number two, letter A. Read the article on workplace etiquette guidelines. Guidelines on guías, all right? Uh, then identify the key details to answer the comprehension questions, okay? So you have these here, guys. You have this um, good etiquette at the workplace. And then you have these um, questions here. Number one, two, three, and four. All right, that they talk about etiquette. Okay, so here, vamos a ver. Um, uh, Edgar, you're going to read paragraph one, Edgar. From there are, as donde dice, you are late. Okay, Edgar. But los demás, segu seguimos la lectura y vaya subrayando palabras que no sepa o palabras que quiere que le volvamos a decir para la pronunciación. Uh, teacher, excuse me. Edgar? Ready? Yeah, yes, I want you to read okay. it, Garcito. De donde dice, there okay. are, hasta uh, donde dice, are late. El primer párrafo. Okay. Mm -hmm. there, there are many workplace etiquette good lines. Guidelines. Guide. Guide. Mm -hmm. Guidelines. Okay. Yes. But the most in, important is to be punctual to, you, to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, emergency, Emergency? That, mm -hmm. Emergency? That is okay. However, 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 How, however, however, habitual late comers are never appreciated in any or, organization. Okay. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organ, organization. 
if you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette, good good line guideline with good line good good line good line, okay. verdad? Guideline, guide, good. guide, guideline, uh -huh. guideline. Very good, okay. very good. A guideline, yes. Good guideline will be to call the concert authority mm -hmm. and report to reason with why you are late. All right, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Edgar. Okay. Mesa Mancha, dame pizarrita. All right, very good. There are many workplace etiquette. Voy a volver a leer. Edgar ya leyó. Veamos la pronunciación. Y si hay una que necesitan que le repita, me avisa. Guidelines. All right, para empezar, ese es guide lines but the most important is to be punctual to your office if you are late because you had an emergency that is okay however habitual late yes. hola however however the meaning yeah sin embargo all right however yeah however habitual late comers are never appreciated. Revise el, el, la pronunciación de ese, ¿verdad? Pues termina en te appreciate, appreciated, la pronunciación in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late, okay? It's concerned, what a meaning? Uh, with the people that concern, a los que les, a, a la persona que le interesa, a la autoridad que le interesa, en este caso su jefe, su supervisor, all right, sí, para ver que va a llegar tarde. Hmm? All right, let's see. Uh, Giovanni, can you read the second paragraph? De donde dice etiquette, hasta donde dice emails. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those case, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace, email etiquette of other countries mm -hmm. in the official emails. You need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatic. I don't know how to pronounce it. Grammatically? Grammatically. Grammatically. Uh -huh. Correct language for emails. Thank you. All right. Very good. Very good. A ver, etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. Acuérdese que a veces por nuestro tipo de trabajo, la empresa que trabajamos, tenemos que mandar correos a otros países, all right? Eh, podría ser que ni, ni estén en Latinoamérica, sino que en Asia o qué sé yo. Y cada país tiene sus formalidades y sus etiquetas y sus reglas, ¿verdad? Entonces, algo que usted tiene que saber es cómo ellos, eh, pues no sé, qué es lo adecuado para mandar un correo a otro país. Es, la, es estándar, all right, or not. No vaya así como a equivocarse y hacer algo que en otro país es como no es muy bien visto, all right. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly, all right? Eso del, del asunto del email, ya lo vimos ayer y ahora con lo de las partes del mensaje, de los correos, es sumamente importante y hacerlo claro y conciso, clear and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails, all right? Acuérdense que estamos hablando de correos institucionales. Tienen que ser formales, ¿verdad? But so you avoid anything. Any words or vocabulary, guys, from that paragraph where everything is okay? No problem? Oh, so teacher. <laughs> Knowledge. Knowledge is conocimiento. Tener buen conocimiento o saber, ¿verdad? Sobre las etiquetas de correo en los otros lugares. 
All right, very good. Uh huh. Any other? Acuérdese que la pronunciación para conciso es concise. You also need to include all the important details, details on details. You should uh, for you should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. Okay, estamos bien? Yeah, all right, very good. Mariela, can you read Mariela in addition? Uh, in addition, as on these interpretations. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone as, pardon, on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be, pol be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. Listen to what they say car carefully. Carefully? Carefully and don't interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpret um, interpretations. Interpret Yes, interpretation. Thank you. Yes, very good. Okay. In, thank you, Mariela. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations, okay? Check for vocabulary, please, for that paragraph. Avoid, wait a minute. Avoid is evitar. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other? Estamos bien con lo demás? I think everything is okay for that one. All right, Saul, can you read the last paragraph, please? Okay. Etiquette guidelines uh, are important even when, when you are celebrating with your coworkers. Mm -hmm. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Don't talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth, your mouth, your mouth. <laughs> your mouth, yes. Your mouth. When you chew, chew, chew. Chew, yes, when, when you, you chew. chew. When you chew, you should uh, remember that your behavior, behavior. Uh, behavior. Uh, and behavior and manner uh, are under observation following uh, Eric guidelines. Yes, guidelines, yes. Can play a, a very vital role for future promotion. Promise. Excellent, thank you, Saul, very good. Etiquette guidelines are guidelines, all right? Are important even when you're celebrating with your co-workers. If you get a call when you're eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating, and remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for further or for future promotions. Okay, revisen ahí vocabulary, please. Chew. Chew, masticar. To chew is to masticar. Excuse me? Behavior. Behavior is comportamiento. Okay. Manner. Excuse me, manners? Manners. Manners, manners. is a, 
eh, um, oh, se me olvidó. Es similar a comportamiento, pero la forma de ser sus modales, perdón, modales. Uh -huh. Ok. Even. Even. Ya. Yeah. Ok, aún, uh, Eric Gaines, aún cuando usted va a celebrar con sus compañeros, ¿verdad? No se olvide ahí, se ponen bien felices todos y después. It's a big problem, all right? So, aún cuando, even. Otra forma de llamar compañeros, coworkers, partners, otras. Um, workmates. Excuse me. Workmate. Así como classmate es workmate. Y colegio, teacher. Colleague. Also colleagues, yes, you can say colleagues. Very good. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. En el caso de for future promotion, que es ascenso, ¿verdad? Sí, ascensos. Ajá. Entonces, seguir como las, las guías de etiqueta o las reglas de etiqueta pueden jugar una, eh, un, un papel muy vital o muy importante en las futuras, eh, no sé, ascensos o promociones, right? Así como que depende de cómo se comporta Carla. <ríe> All right, she's gonna get another job or not, another promotion. All right. Very good. Así en las, en las fiestas navideñas Hola. son peligrosas, right? <ríe> Yes, tell me. Loudly es eh, alto, ¿no? Como sí, sí. Do not loudly. talk loudly, así como no grite cuando esté comiendo, ¿verdad? Así que grite. Juan Francisco, right? Y Juan Francisco a la par, right? So you need to be careful. Igual cuando están aquí, es, es, por eso me reí cuando estaba leyendo Saúl cuando dice, remember to close your mouth when you chew. Pareciera que está de más pero pasa verdad es cerrar su boca cuando esté masticando right so everybody's observing you <laughs> y Fabiola se ríe así como oh no right very good <laughs> all right very good eh, any other questions about this guys no okay so now la, la, aquí nos vamos a quedar hoy conteste usted ahí en casita o dónde está Question one, two, three, and four. All right. So we have if you know the if you know you're late, you should. Number two, what is a tip to apply in official emails? Number three, which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone. Number four, if you receive a call while you're eating with co-workers, you should. All right. Les doy unos dos minutitos para que contesten esas cuatro preguntas. De acuerdo, obviamente, al párrafo que acabamos de read.
All right, let's see. Um, Carla, number one, if you know you're late, you should. A, B, or C. Carla, can you tell us the, the sentence, please? If you know you are late, you should call the person before two. Excellent. All right. If you know you're late, you should call the person you report to. Very good. Uh, number two. Uh, let me see. Mariela, can you do number two? And number two, what is a type of apply in official emails? And num literal C, express the subject clearly. Very good, okay. Thank you, Mariela. What is a tip to apply in official emails? Express the subject clearly. All right, very good. Let me see here, um, Noemi. Puede contestar, no? Yeah, all right. Which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone? Three, B, B, interrupt the other speaker. All right, okay. Very good, yeah, interrupt the other speaker, right? Because it says not good etiquette, excellent, very good. Andres Giovanni, can you answer number four? Number uh, letter C. Can you read like the question and the letter of your choice? Okay. If you receive a call while you are eating with coworkers, you should ignore the call and continue eating. Answer the call at the table. Leave the table and answer the call. So which one is it for you, um, Giovanni? Let us see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you receive a call will, while you're eating with your coworkers, you should leave the table, say, excuse me, and leave the table and answer the call. All right, pretty much. Very good. Okay, thank you, Giovanni. Very good. So we have like a couple of more minutes here. It says some, all right, you know what? Okay, here I want you to do this in your own words. Acuérdese que aquí había, quiero ver. One, two, three, four paragraphs, okay? Y cada párrafo hablaba de algo en específico. No quiero que vaya y lo vuelva a leer y copie tal cual. Quiero que recuerde de que hablaba el primer párrafo, más o menos, y me ponga acá de qué se trataba el primer párrafo. Excuse me. Eh, por ejemplo, si aquí estaba hablando, en el primer párrafo hablaba de, I don't know, like, um, si, si llegar puntual o si llegar tarde, entonces trate de ponerlo en sus propias palabras, all right. Eh, la idea principal del par paragraph one, igual paragraph, paragraph two, three, and four, all right. So you copy it here. Tenemos like three or four minutes to do that, okay. So, trate de recordar que hablaba cada párrafo y trate de ponerlo en sus propias palabras. So, el cita, usted me va a dar la primera, Fabiola la segunda, Edgar la tercera, y ya le digo quién me va a dar la cuarta. And then, um, Juan Francisco, number four.
All right, Elsita, can you tell us about number one? Uh, talk about uh, punctuality Excellent. at work uh, of the responsibility. Mm -hmm. Very good, thank you, Elsie. Talks about punctuality. Very good sentence, Elsie, very nice. Number two, uh, who was gonna do number two? A quien asigné el número dos? Me. Okay. Uh, it's important when writing sale email. Yeah. Excellent, Fabiola. Very good. Yes, it's important to know how to write emails like for other countries. Very good, um, Fabio. Nice. Who was going to do number three? ¿A quién le asigné la tres? A nadie. It's not possible. Sure. ¿Qué? ¿Ah? Yeah. yeah, go ahead. ¿Alguien que la haga ahí? Uh -huh. okay. uh, if you get a call when you are eating, uh -huh. say excuse me and the receive the call. That's for number three or number four, Edgar? Number three. Okay. Hmm. All right. I think it's more for number four, but that's okay. Porque de eso habla, right? When you receive a call, just say, excuse me, and you get out. And then what about number three then? What does it talk about Juan Francisco? Help me with uh, number three, very good, Edgar. Uh, number three. Mm. Uh, you tell, you tell clearly. When you speak uh, telephone or... on the phone on the telephone, yes, very good. Juan Francisco, you speak clearly when you talk on the telephone. Very good, nice, good, 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 guys. Very good. Okay, so I'm gonna take the last attendance for the night, so you may go. And there's Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Soy la Noemi Cordoba de Valencia. Present. Yamileto Soria Alfaro. Candelaria El Tránsito Martínez Cisneros. Edgar Alfredo Mengíbar Pineda. Present teacher. Carla Marta Cano Rivas. Yeah. Mayra Yasmin Rodríguez García. Omar Ramírez Vázquez. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Okay. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Present teacher. Thank you. Elsie Janet de Maria Ramirez Navarro. Present teacher. Marcos Giovanni Moran Flores. Werner Mauricio Reyes Angel. Jennifer Magali Morales Guzmán. Carlos Jonathan García Alvarado. Jorge Antonio Hernández Cruz. Francisco Javier Villatoro Canales. Present. Mariela Los Ángeles Alvarado Díaz. Present teacher. And Jose Saul Gonzalez Roque. Present teacher. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Please work on uh, homework 14. Okay, para que ya mañana solo les quede la 15 y no tengan que estar haciendo tareas el fin de semana. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Good night. Bye. Good night, see you teacher. tomorrow. Bye bye. 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 bye.